Hi everyone, welcome back to my page. Thank you so much for the support you showed on my last video. Um, I wanted to make this week's video on something that we're all constantly in the lookout for and seeking and is how to be happy. What is happiness? And I believe that for us, we have little moments of temporary happiness, but we're not really truly in a state of happiness the way that we're born to be. Because if you think back to when you were a kid, how many happy moments a day did you have? Probably plenty. And that's because you constantly lived in the moment and you didn't anticipate the future so much. So you didn't constantly have this anxiety or feeling of nostalgia from the past or the future. You, you literally just lived in the moment. And so you felt happy at all times. But now as an adult, that's very different. You probably have one or two moments of happiness. And then the rest of the time, you're kind of feeling fed up and done and annoyed and tired and all the rest of it. But really, we should be able to, you know, to be in a state of happiness at all times and shouldn't look for moments of it because we are born to be happy. And through growing up and life, things have happened to us that this mindset has changed and we look at happiness as an escape, as buying something, doing something, achieving something, marrying someone. If I do that, that's when I'll be happy. If you haven't been to my page, welcome. I'm Hamasa. I look at personal development as well as mental and emotional well-being and just day-to-day -day issues. I wanted to dive into this topic because I feel like in today's day and age, we've done so much to make ourselves happy. We've come such a long way. We have so many conveniences that past generations wouldn't even dream about and we, they would think that if we had these things we'd be so happy and yet our generation is the most unhappiest and i wanted to explore this as to why that is and why is it so hard for us to be happy and we're just constantly seeking the next high the next excitement the next thing that would make us happy very momentarily and temporarily and then we're back in a state of dismay and I'm looking at my research and finding stuff out um, on this topic and just looking at the teachings that's out there on happiness. Of course, happiness and things are all we know is a state of mind. And I looked at some spiritual teachings and things to understand that. But all in all, what we need to understand about happiness, that it is really our default state because we are born to be happy beings is what nature intends us to be. So through socialization, nurturing, life experiences and things like that, that happiness goes and we become, our default state changes from being in a hat. We look at happiness, like I said, as moments and as little beings. But what I mean a state of happiness is to constantly feel okay and satisfied and accepting of what's going on around you and to not let things really shake you to the core or change your mindset. You can still keep your peace and mental well-being intact despite of what's going on or what kind of hand you've been dealt with. So this constant state of acceptance and wellness and happiness. So not moment, momentarily mom like little bits and pieces of happiness. That's not what I'm referring to which is what I wanted to clarify because that is our natural state. And if we feel it's this paradigm of I'm not happy, so I need to go out there and achieve this grade. I need to get this job. I need to move to this country. I need to buy the latest car. I need to buy the nicest house. These things are destinations where we think that when we do this, when we reach this destination, that's where my happiness lies. We've grown to accept and believe that it's not within us, it's not from us, it's not how we think. It's from an outside source, be it material or an achievement or whatever that, like food, an addiction, a love interest. These things, we, we put our happiness on that. So we feel like when this person's in my life, when I've achieved this um, job uh, role, when I've gotten a promotion, when I've ha I have this much money, I'm rich, I'm famous, I'll be happy. And we're constantly, but the thing is that 
very early on you kind of come to a realization that if I get this grade from school then I'll be so happy my life will be complete and then the minute you get that grade you realize that actually no I want to get into this university if it's that if that's what you want to do go into higher education or oh no now that I've got this grade I'll be extra happy if I get this job or if I start earning this much, then you always put it on the next destination. So you end up living your life, looking for little moments to escape and experience happiness. Like when you go to a movie or you eat your favorite cake or go to a festival or go on that holiday, you think this is a moment of happiness, I should cherish it because I'll be going back to my default state of being unhappy. Then you're constantly reinforcing that belief system and mindset. And the earlier that you realize that, no, my I should just, with what I have, what's going on, I now have enough experiences and examples that have added up that I've seen that when I've achieved that thing that I really thought was going to make me happy, I got there, I, I achieved it, and I realized that, no, I wanted the next thing, that it isn't about that destination and happiness isn't outside of me around the next corner. It's all in the way I see the journey and the situation in the present moment and how I handle each moment of the day. I can look at each moment of the day and make myself happy or look at it and think it's okay, it happens, it is what it is. Or I can think, no, when this day is over and I do this for myself tonight and I cook my favorite dinner, that's when I'll be happy. Is when the sooner you accept and realize that, that it's never around the next corner, around the, in the next destination, it's just how you take each moment, perceive it and behave and accept it for what it is and understand that this is what you can control, this is what you can't and whatever is happening, you're okay with. The reason that we're always constantly looking for it or you know one aim and goal in everybody's life at the end of the day is to be happiness or find happiness is because that is our default state so naturally we know or we get drawn to that and gravitate that this is how we should feel so the sooner we start accepting it the sooner we will be in a natural state of happiness because we know where our strengths are and that's where we're going to put our energy in. and i know that it might seem like a bit of faff when you talk about things like happiness and it's like oh it's all in your head and da, da, da. but really truly Look at your own life experiences and things you've achieved and things you've gotten that you thought would complete your life and then you had it and it really didn't and five seconds later you're looking onto the next thing, the next goal. And take that as an example. Because if you don't learn from your, li your own life experiences, then when, where will you learn from? So the sooner you understand and realize that, no, 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 it's not about that next pair of trainers or the new brand new car that I want. It's about here and now, what I have and how I look at it and how this is making me feel and the gratitude that I should have for the things that I do have. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please do share it with someone who may need it. Please subscribe to my page, like and comment on this video and I will see you guys here again next week for a new topic. And on that note, if you have any video suggestions for me, please do write them in the comments below so that I can cover that topic for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here again soon. Mwah.